I remember the first wild geese I saw, I was five years old and I tried to draw a goose. Mother still, well, I still have the original drawing and it says goose on it, but it looked more like a pterodactyl. <laughs> anyway, by then I was hooked with watching birds. I couldn't imagine that there could be that many cranes and no one had ever written about them. Very few really realized, well, probably none, what a world phenomenon this is. It's, it's the biggest concentration of large birds in the world for five weeks or so. There's nothing else like it. It's brought in a lot of money, $20 million a year in tourism, and really become a, a major tourism factor in this state. Uh, it's annoying because people are crowding into the areas I used to have to buy myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't be alone with the cranes. Much of my life has been associated with trying to transmit information about nature, about Nebraska, about the Great Plains. I've, I've done over 20 books on Nebraska and the Great Plains. So I think that's been a major concern to make people realize how valuable this area of the country is, and how valuable nature is. But, but that's a book, the book probably more than any, that influenced my efforts to somehow convert what I've seen and learned into writing.